Hey fans, happy Fantabulous Friday. It is Friday y'all and I am getting ready to make some breakfast. I think this is vlog number 11. Vlog number 11, so not vlog. This is Vlogtober, day 11 and I am getting ready to make some breakfast so I'm going to put you guys here, hoping that y'all can see me. Can y'all see me? Y'all can see me? I think y'all can see me. Um, I'm getting ready to do some, make some breakfast right quick. And then I am getting ready to film a cleaning video. I am attacking my bathrooms today. So that's going to be a separate vlog. That's going to be vlog October 12th. Um, I am attacking my bathrooms today. I am cleaning them today. Uh, and I want to attack my kids' bedrooms because they are atrocious. So if I can get to those, I will get to those in the video as well. Um, but it is a much needed cleaning. So that is going to be a separate video, um, and today is just a vlog style video, <clears throat> and yeah, I am having a great morning. The kids are off to school, um, Nyla is here, so yesterday um, Mike and I and Nyla went to her school, which she's going to be going to the same school as Mikey Beezy. Um, and we went to her school after three weeks <laughs> of trying to figure out, you know, getting a schedule together and um, meeting with them. I was supposed to meet with them last week, but I couldn't meet with them last week because I got a call. As soon as I dropped um, Kayla Beasy off to school, I got a call like five minutes later saying that she threw up. So I had to go get her from school. So I had to cancel that appointment. And normally, <clears throat> if I can't make it to an appointment, I like to cancel at least 24 hours in advance. I had no choice but to cancel two hours before the meeting. And I felt so bad because it's an IEP meeting. And if, if you guys know what that is, you know what that entails. If you don't, an IEP meeting is basically a meeting that parents and directors of the, <clears throat> excuse me, special education department and teachers and anybody that's working with your special needs child um, they go to these meetings and we discuss <clears throat> I'm sorry y'all I have a little cold we discuss um, what that child's needs are and what they need and what they don't need and how to best accommodate them throughout the school year so um, that's what we had to do was the IEP meeting yesterday and um, it was about two and a half hours, I believe. I'm um, just trying to figure out like what class will best fit Nyla's needs and um, what teacher would best fit her needs and things like that. And so we did find a classroom for her and it's amazing and the people are a delight. They are incredible. I absolutely love them. They're so warm and just Oh, I just, the way they work with the kids and just, you know, just the warmth and the compassion that it's, it just was so very different um, from what we're used to. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm just, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And I'm so glad that she's here in this school. And so I think she's starting either Monday or Tuesday next week. Um, they're going to get back to me and let me know what her start date is going to be. But I am so excited. We are all so excited. And even Nyla is so excited because we went into the first classroom and it was like a little overwhelming for her. Um, because it was more high functioning children that was in that classroom. Or I shouldn't say children, but in individuals. Um, but... And so she was very overwhelmed and she wanted to get out. She just was not having it. The second classroom we went into, she fell in love. She literally let go of my hand 
and she ran to a chair and she was spinning in the chair like we and all the students came over to her and like gave her a hug and said hi to her and introduced themselves and it just was the teachers they did that too and it just was such an amazing um, moment and I just it warms my heart to know that she's going to be in a place that has so much love and warmth and yeah I'm just I'm so excited and dad is excited Nyla's excited and we just can't wait to you know get her out to school <laughs> um, but she is upstairs she's probably gonna be coming downstairs once she hears me you know rattling the pots and pans and stuff but um, we had such a good time and so yesterday I did not get to film so I did miss out on Vlogtober 10 but um, I did not get to film it was a very crazy day yesterday and I should have grabbed the camera but I forgot the camera at home and as soon as we came back home I had to run out um, to get some stuff at the stores and then when I got back from there I had to go get Mikey and Michaela from school <laughs> And then um, we went to Walmart and came back and had to take Michaela to gymnastics yesterday and came back home. Daddy VZ had to leave. So it was a crazy, crazy day. And I probably should have vlogged the crazy day. I did vlog Michaela's gymnastics. Um, so if you guys want to see that, I can upload that. I'm going to upload it on her channel, Kayla Beezy's World. But if you want to see it on my channel, I can upload um, some little snippets. But anyway, I don't want to talk you guys' ear off. Today is going to be a low-key day. I'm going to be working on my website um, today and my store. And yeah, it's going to be a low-key day. And yeah, so I'm going to get started on this breakfast because a sister is hungry. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me things I never needed you to diamond rings All I ever need, I need, I Actually going to change that I am 
Um, I'm going to change that. Reason being is because of this. So, we don't have guests all the time. Like, we really don't have guests. <laughs> Unless it's like something, you know, big or sometimes my best friend, um, she'll come by. But that's not very often because of the distance that we have between each other. Um, in terms of, you know, where she lives and where I live. And now that we live further out, I don't foresee us having guests as often. Um, and my mom is supposed to be coming for Christmas, but I, it's still kind of like up in the air. I'm not really sure. I know my niece and my nephew is definitely coming for Christmas. Um, but we do have places in the house where they can stay. So for my mom, I really was creating this space for her. Now, she doesn't come very often um, because it's, she doesn't travel this far very often. So what I decided to do um, is turn this into my office slash guest area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a futon, um, a, you know, that turns into like a queen size bed, but it's set up as a couch when it's not being used because I do have a desk in the living room but it's still it's it's functional for me in terms of me doing my you know my work for YouTube and you know paying bills and things like that but it's just not a full-fledged office so I still kind of have all my official office things um, scattered all over the house in my bedroom and stuff like that and my our bedroom I kind of want our bedroom to just be our master bedroom I want it to be a space where it's relaxing and comfortable and romantic and, you know, just a space for me and my husband. I don't want to bring work into our master bedroom because I don't want to be doing work <laughs> in my master bedroom. I really just want to relax and spend time with my husband in, in our bedroom as it's supposed to be for relaxation and, you know. So my... um idea is to use this room this space for my office because I'm I'm in my I'm doing work all the time um, not just for YouTube but also for my husband's um, ministry and for our other businesses that we are doing and I just I need a space <laughs> I need a space to put my desk in to put all my paperwork in my printer and all those things where it's an official office space and I can just keep everything that is office related um, that is like you know for our home organization and management and all that stuff keep all that paperwork in just one solid area um, because everything like to pay the bills and to do all those things like everything is in the drawers in the kitchen or in the living room or in my bedroom or it's just it's not functional for me, and I'm a very organized person. It doesn't seem like it, but I am. I like my space organized and neat and clean and tidy and clutter-free. So, this is going to be my new office. Um, I have it set up now, and, and honestly, that's why we haven't gotten like a mattress yet, because we were still kind of like thinking, should we keep it as a guest room or should we keep it as an office space and as you can see I was going to do you know get the bed the mattress and do like a full reveal and stuff like that but this is where all of our equipment is our lighting is in here our tripod is in here um, sometimes I come in here and I film and you know I have like a whole chalkboard I actually um, refurbished that if you guys remember that was like the gold framed chalkboard in the mirror in the middle so I just spray painted it um, glossy black and then put the chalkboard paint in on to, over the mirror and use it as a chalkboard. And so that's going to stay and I actually built this as well. I did a video on this you guys and the video just was not uploading. I don't know what in the world was happening but it just was not uploading so I filmed it, I showed you guys how I was making it and everything, and it just was not working out. So this is, I built this a few weeks ago, and so this is where it's been. Um, and I just, I painted it white, 
I painted it white and then I stained the top with a walnut stain and it just it turned out so beautiful I wish that the video would have worked out right but it's okay but anyway so this is this is going to be my new office these are the drawers for my um, buffet if you guys remember my buffet that I had in my old dining room in the previous home so it's still at the other house and we're actually going to be picking that up and bringing it over but we just took all the drawers out and brought the drawers over so that's the drawers for my buffet and that's going to go somewhere um, <laughs> and then we have the television up because I'm telling you guys everything was set for the guests for when they come um, I have to get like a little vanity I don't know if I'm going to buy a vanity or if I'm going to make one I'm still kind of it's kind of up in the air but I had everything like ready and planned so right now this whole space I'm going to redo it because it's kind of feeling a little cluttered to me so I'm going to redo this whole space the television is going to stay um, the headboard is going to go in the attic because that's where the guest room is now going to be. Um, and this, I don't know what we're going to do with this because I'm not about to, uh, carry this all the way three flights of steps. And I'm pretty sure my husband is not going to want to either. <laughs> so I don't know if we're going to keep this in the garage or donate it or give it away for free. I don't know. It's a perfectly, perfectly good bed frame. It's a full size bed frame. But I don't know yet. But for now, it is definitely going to go into the garage. But this is going to be my new office space. Before y'all know, it was like the eating kitchen area. And it was great for that. Now we have a dining room. So we use that every single day. Um, and this is now going to be my office space, which I am super duper excited about. I am so excited about it because... It looks over into the backyard with this big old window. Um, the awnings, we can actually, um, you know, roll it up and you see like out in the, the lawn. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful sight to see. And I can just picture in the wintertime with the awnings rolled up and the snow on the ground and the trees turn into popsicles. Oh, I just love it. So um, I'm going to definitely get ready to start decluttering this room and it's a catch-all it's a catch-all for everything <laughs> it's a catch-all for everything I have things in here that I'm going to be selling on the website and it's just it's a catch-all place for everything so yeah so I just wanted to show you guys the new uh, office space I'm gonna take you guys through when I'm decluttering it it's not going to be today but I'm going to be decluttering it uh, probably this weekend and then um, I'm going to show you guys how I am going to put it all together. And I'm actually going to give you guys some Pinterest inspiration as to um, how I'm going to set up this office. It's definitely going to have a farmhouse flair because y'all know I love farmhouse style. So it's definitely going to have a farmhouse flair. And it's also going to be very urban farmhouse to keep with the rest of my house but I'm going to add a little bit of French country touches to it so that's going to be cool and I'm very excited about it I do want to put like a French door here in this opening I still want to do that and I'm still going to do that um, but yeah so just wanted to show you guys what my new office space is going to be and I'm so excited about it because I feel like I'm productive in the living room at my desk but I feel like I can be uber productive in this space. I just want it to be my think tank and just have my vision wall up and just it be inspired every single day to create and to just to, to work, you know. So I'm very excited about that. And working from home, I need a space that is going to help me to be inspired, right? So. Just wanted to show you guys what that is going to look like. So Kayla Beasy is starting dinner. Oh my goodness, the girl is cooking. She's making the sausages. So she's making, what are you making? What kind of pizza? I am making cheese pizza and sausage pizza. Ooh, chat. That is why I'm currently cooking the sausages right now. And what kind of sausages are these? These are turkey. 
Kawaska, Kawaska, Sasha. Kawaska. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Because when she mix it in, it's going to have a really strong taste. That girl is cooking dinner, y'all. <laughs> On a Friday night. Mommy days are Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. My days are Tuesdays and Fridays. <laughs> now, what's that? Are you th what's that you're throwing in there? Paprika okay. gives it a really, really good taste, and it's very healthy, and it's not spicy. <laughs> so it's a really good. You can add as much as you want, as much as your heart's content. As much as your heart's content. Let me show y'all what we did today. Daddy BZ was home for a little bit, and we um we was downstairs working. Ah! Downstairs working, yeah. Huh? Open it. This is a pizza, guys. <laughs> oh. Mommy is amazing. She took us to the store yesterday to get the pizza stuff so that I could do my thing in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> She's so silly. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so excited to cook. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crazy Joe! So let me show y'all what we did today. Um, we're downstairs in Daddy Beasy's um, office. And this is what we've been doing all day. We've been putting down some carpet tiles. And it just looks so good. So this is what the floor used to look like. And this is what it's looking like now. And I just got to do the corners um, over in that area. Over here. And all the way to where the brick wall begins right there. So that whole section right here is going to be carpet tiles. And it's, it's looking so good, and it feels so good, y'all. Oh, my goodness. It feels so good, and I love the color. Me, personally, I would have painted, like, this whole thing white, including the blue. But this is Daddy Beezy's uh, space, and he's inspired, and he's good. So that's all that matters. I'm your hope today. You get a little bit of sauce. You see that one coming, trying to come off? He's trying to escape. He's trying to escape. Now you can't have them escape. You can't. I am a professional. I own Pizza Hut and Domino's and Little Caesars. So, I'm professional. This is how we do. She's going to be pooping up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> so I made individual pieces for her so that, because like it's not fair that everyone else gets cheese and she eats the cheese and then she's like, ugh. Yeah. So I just made her individual, <laughs> I made her individual sausage pizza. Nice. Say you won't be mad Do you know what I feel? I'm sick of all your lies Just say you want me Say you want me bad Say you won't be mad Just say you want me
guys. This is what the pizza looks like. Ooh! These are Nyla's pizzas. And she's already started eating it. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. And then we have the all cheese pizza. That's in there now. This is what the pizza is looking like. And I am so excited to dig in. Kayla Beasy's making a salad right now. I am. <laughs> and then we're going to grub on. I'm going to tell you this pizza is now going to last till tomorrow. It's all going to be done today. It's, so. it's all going to be done right now. Two seconds. <laughs> right, Nyla? Two seconds? Pizza done? Yeah. 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 Okay, guys, so this is dinner. I think this is a great dinner for a Friday night. Is that all right? Is that all right? Is that all right? I'm to cut the cheese. Oh, that's funny. Is that all right? Okay, so we're getting ready to grub, y'all, because the sister is hungry. All right, here we go. <gasps> hey, fams. So it is the end of the night. It's about 7, <gasps> yep, 6.52. And we ate that wonderful dinner that Michaela made. It was so delicious, you guys. So now we are just here. I'm in my nightgown, my PJs. And Mikey's laying there with his Bible, his face. Caleb Easy's over there with her Bible. And Nyla's in the hallway. And um, we're about to do our uh, Bible study, our family Bible study. And then we are going to have our family movie night. We are missing one person out of the family, Daddy BZ, um, and we totally miss him so much. So when he when he gets home, we're definitely going to be doing this again. But um, just wanted to close out this vlog and tell you guys good night. We are going to watch a movie after this and probably fall asleep. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We love you, love you, love you. I hope that you guys are enjoying these vlogs for Vlogtober. And, um, yeah, we love you guys so much. So, uh, have a good night. Enjoy the ones that you're with. Love the ones that you're with. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. The reason I don't post anymore I've never been so loud before Just trying to make you understand my eyes and hair